The number one ranked Boilermakers looked to bounce back today against Penn State after falling to Nebraska earlier this week. Purdue went on a 17-0 run in the first half and never looked back. Zach Eady led the way with 30 points and 20 rebounds, and the Boilermakers picked up a 17-point win over Penn State. For the first time in 40 days, the paint crew is back, and you could definitely feel their presence tonight. Purdue's first points came from a Lance Jones triple, Boilermakers up 3-2. But Penn State had some momentum early. They applied pressure and forced a turnover and then capitalized with the and one. Nittany lines up 10-8. But here comes Purdue's 17-0 run. It starts with Cam Heidi, who nails a three for the lead. He had eight points. Then Mason Gillis goes inside to Zach Eady, who gets the bucket and the foul. Gillis goes inside again, but Edie's quickly triple teamed. He kicks it back out to Gillis, who drains the three. Then Zach Edie went on a tear. Smith hands it off to him for the transition slam. Some hang time for the big man. And then Lawyer throws it up to Edie, who throws it down. He finished with a double-double, 30 points and 20 rebounds. Now Fletcher Lawyer providing some offense. He finished with 11 points. The Nittany Lions trying to get something going. Kanye Clary hits a three and gets fouled for the four-point play. He had 16 points. The Boilers led by 20 at the break. Second half, Purdue continues to dominate. Lance Jones goes coast to coast for the and one. He finished with 14 points. Penn State couldn't close the gap, and Purdue takes this one 95-78. to after the win, I spoke with Cam Heidi, who started the Boilers' largest run. I'm here with Cam Heidi. Cam, 17-0 run in the first half. How are you guys so unstoppable on offense? It's just really doing our job. Just, you know, when we run our offensive plays, being able to execute, getting open shots, and, you know, we have a very unselfish team. So whenever we can move the ball, get open shots, and, and score, it makes the game a lot easier. You said yesterday your role on this team is to shoot open shots, be aggressive offensively. In the last few games, you've hit some clutch threes. How have you been able to do that? Just like, just staying to my role pretty much. It, it, it's super simple. You know, I go in there, play defense, and shoot open shots and be aggressive when I need to be. But, you know, when I just shoot open shots, I, I have the confidence it's going to go in because I work on it so much. So it's pretty simple. You also mentioned playing with the best player in the country. When he drops 30 and 20 tonight, what does that do for the rest of this team? It, it's, it's a lot easier to win games when he has 30 and 20. But, you know, even when he doesn't have the best, well, I guess 30 and 20 is hard to compare. But, you know, it's... It makes the game a lot easier and you know, they draw, he draws so much attention from the defense so it kind of opens up other shots from, from different people. How much of a statement was this win tonight as you guys head into IU? I think it was a bounce back win from Nebraska too and anytime you, you lose a game and in a good environment on the road and obviously IU is going to be a good environment, it's, it's good to you know, win a game by 17 points and going into you know, our biggest rival. Awesome, thanks so much Ken. Thank you. Up next, Purdue travels to enemy territory when they face the Hoosiers on Tuesday. Reporting from Mackey Arena, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18.